Hi dear students, welcome you all to the brilliant group of institution. Here we are discussing one of the most important concept that's called the packing efficiency. How to calculate the packing efficiency in a simple cubic lattice. Let's see, it's a packing efficiency dear all, it's one of the important concept from the chapter that is solid state from your grade 12. So packing efficiency, let's see what is mean by a simple cubic system. Simple cubic system is also known as primitive unit cell. Primitive unit cell. See, simple cubic means you can know packing efficiency is calculated by an equation that is volume occupied by the spheres in the unit cell divided by total volume of the unit cell into 100 because packing efficiency is calculated in percentage all right so what is the equation to calculate packing efficiency all of you it is the volume occupied by the spheres in the unit cell so if you consider simple cubic unit cell so in that unit cell how many spheres are the total inside their volume divided by total volume of the unit cell you know that in this chapter solid state we are considering the unit cell as a cube as a perfect cube you know what is the volume of a cube right a cube right so always total volume of the unit cell that will be a cube where a is the edge length let's see and into 100 so this is the equation to calculate packing efficiency for all the system so dear all let us consider what is the meaning of a packing efficiency you can see it's a hundred percentage just imagine it's a hundred percentage crystal system in which the spheres are occupied can you see here and there so many voids are there, right? So many free spaces are there. These free spaces, free spaces in the crystal, what it is called? That's called as what? Void. You can see inside so many spaces are there. These are the voids in the system. So we are going to calculate in this unit cell, in a simple, let's consider a simple cubic unit cell, okay? Simple cubic. So this is our unit cell in which, what do you mean by a simple cubic? Simple cubic means... The constituent particle, that means the spheres are present at the corners. You know, total eight corners are there for a cube. So let me place any two corner, two spheres. You can see that. Let us consider some of their arrangement. This is the two spheres. It should be equal in, equal in size, all right? These two spheres should be equal in size also. So actually simple cubic mean all the eight corners, all the eight corners, eight spheres are there. But here we are going to calculate the packing efficiency in the system. So let us consider only two spheres just like this. So this is the center of the sphere and center of the other sphere. Let me mark it as the distance is AB. And here all, what is that AB distance is that is we can represent by a small letter A. What is small letter A represent here all? It is called the edge length. Not at all of you, edge length. It's also called axial length. This AB distance, that is the center of the two spheres. The distance is called small letter A. It is known as axial length or edge length. Clear all of you? What is that axial length in this diagram all of you? Can you call this axial length is equal to 2R? radius why 2 are dear all can you see here this sphere this distance the half distance of this a it is the radius of the first sphere and this is the radius of the second sphere so overall length a is equal to what 2 r are you clear so a is equal to 2 r now we can go for the expression what is packing efficiency dear all can you recover what is the equation we studied packing efficiency is equal to the volume occupied by the spheres in the unit cell which is unit cell we are discussing now simple cubic unit Unit cell as or no so in simple cubic unit cell you know what is the volume of one sphere that is 4 by 3 pi r cube that is the volume of one sphere in the simple cubic unit cell total how many spheres are there you may study that dear all eight corner right simple cubic unit cell mean all eight corner eight spheres are present eight spheres are present right and each corner each corner you will get one by eight portion right you will get 1 by 8th portion from each corner. So total 8 corners are there. So 8 into from each corner you are getting 1 by 8th portion. So 8 into 1 by 8 is equal to 1. So total in a simple cubic unit cell, how many spheres are there? Only one sphere. 
therefore what is the volume of the spheres in the unit cell 1 into 4 by 3 pi r cube why 4 by 3 pi r cube it is the volume of one sphere why 1 into d all in a simple cubic unit cell we have only one sphere keep in mind divided by what is the denominator can you recover denominator is the Vo total volume of the unit cell right total volume of the unit cell what is a unit cell it's a cube what is the volume of a cube a cube what is a dear all we already determined a is equal to 2r right so let us substitute 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by instead of a what we can write 2r so 2r the whole cube into 100 and while simplifying 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by what is 2r cube 8r cube dear all r cube r cube cancel if you substitute the value of pi here you're going to get a constant value 52.4 percentage the value all of you please memorize what is the packing efficiency in a simple cubic lattice that is 52.4 percentage what is that meaning of 52.4 percentage is the packing efficiency that means if you consider the 100 percentage if you consider the simple cubic unit cell is 100 percentage strength or the packing inside in which 52.4 percentage of the area that is covered by out of 100 52.4 percentage area is covered by the spheres whereas remaining percentage what we can call that's a void right so 100 minus 52.4 that's equal to what dear all 47.6 percentage is the void so dear all let me conclude in a simple cubic unit cell in a simple cubic unit cell or a primitive unit cell what is the value of packing efficiency that is 52.4 percentage so what is the remaining space that is a void so 100 minus 52.4 percentage is equal to what 47.6 percentage that is is the void so these two values we have to remember and the derivation also very important hope you clear this is the way how to calculate the packing efficiency in which a system simple cubic unit cell clear all of you thank you